Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that in the uh, month of like late March, April, um, I am in the process of moving. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that um, the some videos may be a bit late um, around that time frame. The good news is that um, I am moving to Japan and so when I get there, um, I'll have a lot of cool content for you guys. If you guys want to like follow me on my journey living abroad and find out uh, what cool anime spots I visit and stuff like that, you could go follow my vlog channel. And I'm gonna do my best to bulk record and edit around all of the travel and the packing and the flights and stuff like that. Like, so I don't understand why they're trying to make it out as if Aaron's a madman now that doesn't even care that Sasha was killed. And the thing about it is that um, if Aaron didn't do what Aaron did, more than Sasha would have been dead. Probably <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are watching episode 10 of Attack on Titan season 4, um, which is so crazy. It feels like we've gotten so much information in 10 episodes. Like at this point, I feel like we're nearing the end because this is so much. Like it's like literally a brain but I am loving every second of it and I hope you guys are as well. So let's jump right into episode 10 of Attack on Titan season four, which is also episode 69. Fight. Oh, Aaron. It's like he's trying to convince himself or something or like motivate himself. What is she talking about? Except crazy people. I know, I've talked to myself in a mirror before. He got a, a hard-working, carefree. He got a definite man bun. What does she mean you'd never sacrifice the story of what? A sound argument. Two years ago. I <laughs> lifted our ship a whole year ago. Wildly. <laughs> Oh, so I visit her. I knew she was on that side. I said it. Go back to the episode. I, I said it. I said it. I don't want to hear nothing else from nobody else. I said it. But my mom said to keep it a secret. You showed it to me when we were little. It's a secret. Is Mikasa from where that lady's from? Cause she's a foreigner, the lady's a foreigner. The symbol was passed down to me from my mother. She said I should pass it on to my child. Over a century ago, the Shogun, we from her. Okay, okay. It was on front of the that's why they're they're protecting the island. A child of the show was left behind on the Oh my 
my gosh. How many hopes of the nations we got? Is that blood on her? Just joined us to the world, but we're still just a child learning to walk. Yeah, like they didn't even know the sea was there. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Aaron said no more cutting hair I've had enough <laughs> Zeke brought them together okay okay because remember you remember she was the one that saved the guy at the Lady Mikasa. Mm -hmm. I spray stone. Um, she was the one that saved the the kid at the the ball thing, and then she was the one that was like, like she said something to somebody, and then she was like, um, you know, it's time to head out. And it seemed like she knew that something was about to happen. And I was like, does she know that something was about to happen? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Test run of the rumbling. Okay. The founding titan and a titan with royal blood must be passed down. To someone of royal blood. Bear as many kids as possible. Right. But here we are, two years later, going through with the plan.
I ate the war hammer time. Use the power to harden through the ground and make whatever it wants. What? She got pregnant so they can't feed Zeke to her until she gives birth. Nicolo said he didn't have enough. You've all grown so big. <laughs> Monopolize period these race okay. Oh
Oh man. Exactly. They didn't even give him a chance. These people, they didn't have a chance. At least they did try. I think. Did they travel to another country before? <sighs> yeah, they keep Oh, yeah. I'm way smarter than Aaron. Um, suicidal maniac. <laughs> Nobody wants to die in 13 years voluntarily. crazy they kept wishing for more time and they're just like we just need more time more time and it's like is there's clocks ticking everywhere like they're running out of life right the titans um rain or aaron like everybody's coming close to the end of their 13 years already and then um when the island would be attacked They just don't know, like in the time, it's just time clocks everywhere. Just, it's just, there's just no time. Like you don't know when they were gonna be attacked, like how, how long it's gonna take to advance. Like it's just, oh man. Like everybody's just like hoping for peace and wishing for a peaceful way out of this and wishing for more time. And it's just like, we on the outside looking in, it's just like, there's, there's no time. Mm. Okay, they, they keep flashing back and flashing forward without telling us. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on, are we forward again? We're forward now, again. Like, I mean, present day. Mm-mm. Ha! <laughs> 
not on my watch. <laughs> Yeah. But what's the plan though? Sure. he did though maybe he just didn't show them but we saw that he was just like he laughed I thought he like just kind of like laughed in agony I, that's what I thought I didn't know he was laughing like it was funny I thought he just kind of laughed like you know, like, like that. Did he laugh? Like, really laugh? I took it as like, like, like he was just so, so disappointed and so like, horrified. Zeke out here. Gabby and Falco escaped the prison. How? Alone and lost, they received the help of the hand from a double D. Alone and lost, they received the help. Deceiver. How the heck did they get out of prison? Okay, so we got a lot in this episode today. So some of the bigger things that we've got out of episode 10 was um, we found out that Mikasa is one of the lost descendants of the country of Hizuru, I think it's what it's called, right? That was left on the island. So her family, I'm guessing her mom or her, you know, or her mom's mom or whoever was a direct descendant, right? <clears throat> we find that out and they're hoping that the existence of Mikasa um will strengthen the relationship with Hizuru and get them to you know side with them but the thing about Hizuru is it seems like that they only really want to um they only really want to help if it's going to help them develop in one of the flashbacks from I think two years ago they were saying that they want to monopolize the island's resources um and that's not what the island wanted the island wanted to be open to other nations so that people didn't see them as like a threat they wanted to be open they didn't want to be seen as the bad people anymore right because they've been seen like that for so long for absolutely no reason um other than misunderstanding um uh, people lying people you know wars that didn't need to be fought and such right another thing that stood out to me was when they were saying that um Aaron Connie was like we have to be pre prepared to um you know like take Aaron down um because he didn't feel like Aaron was on their side and Mikasa's like like Aaron's always been on our side like we are the most important people to him um and I feel like the the uh the writing and the um animators are trying to get us to feel either um we are like on Aaron's side or we're on everyone else's side right so it's like a divide um so there's Mikasa and then there's Aaron and um, Mikasa doesn't doubt Aaron and his intentions and then everyone else is like Aaron has changed he's a completely different person he laughed when Connie's died when Connie died what was so funny right um and the thing about it is that Aaron like he did like chuckle right but we also saw like 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 maddening distress on his face like it was just like 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 horror that's what Aaron looked like so I don't understand why they're trying to make it out as if Aaron's some madman now that doesn't even care that Sasha was killed and the thing about it is that 
Um, if Aaron didn't do what Aaron did, more than Sasha would have been dead. Probably everyone would have been dead. And the thing about it is that nobody's really look, nobody's really focusing on that point. Is that like he did this to save more people. You get what I'm saying? It's like it's like, oh, do we, you know, we sacrifice one for a hundred or a hundred for one. You get what I'm saying? Like it's like one of those situations that is like either we all die or we go in here and try to survive. You get what I'm saying? We fight and we we try to survive. And the only way, remember when Aaron um told me Casa like that um you you have to fight to survive and if you don't fight you die, right? So it's like they could have sat on the island and just waited while Marley like declared war and prepared their ships and set out and attacked them. Right? Or they could have gone and fight like Aaron did. Right? So Aaron brought the fight to them. Like, you fight to survive. If you don't fight, you die. That is how Aaron has always thought. And he has always thought that way, protecting the people that he cares about. Right? So when he lost his parents, like, he, all the people that, all of his friends and everything, those are the only people that he cared about. He cares about them more than he cares about himself. He cares about his story more than he cares about himself. And, um, they were saying how it was trying to show, like, how, like, Aaron has changed from, like, back then when you know like two years ago he was like you know still like hopeful and trying to like um fight for historia and look for other options like everybody was like throwing out oh well what if we do this or what if we did that well we need more time we need more time um and then they're trying to show him like present day you know um saying like where hanji's like um i never thought that you would be okay with sacrificing historia and it's like but he's he couldn't be okay with that you know it's like they're not really giving him the benefit of the doubt um and it's kind of like they're turning him into the bad guy like he is the enemy now that everybody's focusing on and um that just don't sit right with me so let me get let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this episode it was a lot of information i know i didn't go over everything because i would be talking for way too long um but uh, make sure you come back here next time for episode 11 of Attack on Titan. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.